Our own solar system, a tiny speck within the Milky Way galaxy, is just one small part of a much grander cosmic structure. The universe is teeming with galaxies, each with its own story to tell. Let's embark on a journey through the cosmos to explore the diverse types of galaxies, from our own galactic home to the most distant objects we can observe. For centuries, our entire universe was just one galaxy, our own Milky Way. Imagine that. Everything we knew, everything we could see, was contained within the single swirling island of stars. And on a very clear, dark night with minimal light pollution, you can still catch a glimpse of this cosmic home from Earth. Our pale blue dot is found approximately 25,000 light years from the center of the galaxy in one of the outer arms. But how did we discover that our own galaxy wasn't the only one? In the late 1700s, a brother-sister duo, Sir William and Caroline Herschel, embarked on an ambitious quest, a celestial census. By meticulously counting and charting the stars, they made a groundbreaking discovery. Stars weren't just sprinkled across the sky like cosmic dust. They were clustered in disc-like formations. And it seemed logical then to place our sun at the very center of this stellar disk, believing it was the galaxy's central hub. Then, in the early 1900s, a breakthrough. Henrietta Swan Leavitt, a Harvard computer, discovered the key to unlocking the universe's scale the Cepheid variable. These pulsating stars offered a cosmic yardstick, their period of variation directly revealing their luminosity. Equipped with this vital information, Edwin Hubble pointed his powerful telescope skyward. In 1924, the universe expanded. The Great Nebula of Andromeda wasn't a nebula at all. It was a colossal galaxy much larger than our own Milky Way galaxy in size. With this groundbreaking discovery, Hubble embarked on a new mission, classifying these vast island universes, galaxies, each a spiraling collection of billions of stars, planets, gas, and dust, and the sheer number of them? It's estimated that there are a staggering 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe. The result was the Hubble Tuning Fork, a classification system so effective it's still actively used by astronomers today. This system provided a crucial framework for understanding and communicating the morphological sequence of galaxies, offering key insights into their structure, formation, and evolution. Elliptical galaxies are defined by their smooth elliptical shapes. Lacking spiral arms or a disk, they come in various sizes and are the most common type of galaxy. These older galaxies tend to be less bright than their spiral counterparts. But some elliptical galaxies are far more than just collections of stars. They are powerful sources of energy. Double-lobed radio galaxies blast out intense radio radiation from two massive lobes situated on opposite sides. These incredible energy outputs are driven by two high-energy jets of gas ejected from the galaxy's nucleus, a phenomenon astronomers call the double exhaust model. But before diving into other galaxy classifications, let's understand the basic anatomy of these galactic giants. First, the bulge. This is the dense central region, a spherical or elliptical concentration of mostly old stars moving in random orbits. It contains very little gas. Then the disk. This is the flat, rotating plane of stars, gas, and dust extending outward from the bulge. Stars and gas here orbit in a circular motion, and gas makes up about 10 to 50 percent of its mass, fueling ongoing star formation. Understanding these two components, the bulge and the disk, is key to understanding the different types of galaxies that we'll explore next. A galactic halo is a nearly spherical region of thinly scattered stars and gas surrounding spiral galaxies. 
The beautiful spiral arms we see in some galaxies are not static structures. They are dynamic regions of higher density. They form when orbiting gas and dust encounter density waves. Areas that move much more slowly than the galaxy's overall rotation. This difference in speed causes the gas and dust to compress, leading to star formation and illuminating the spiral arms. To put this simply, these arms are denser regions within the galactic disk. Despite their delicate spiral forms, these galaxies are dynamic and ever-changing. Spiral galaxies are thought to grow by merging with smaller galaxies, a process that earns them the nickname Galactic Cannibals. Looking far into the future, 4.5 billion years into the future to be precise, our Milky Way galaxy will undergo a dramatic transformation. It is on a collision course with the Andromeda galaxy. These two galaxies are currently approaching each other at nearly a quarter of a million miles per hour, setting the stage for a spectacular cosmic merger. Now what sets bar spiraled galaxies apart is unlike their normal spiral counterparts. Their arms don't spiral directly into the center. Instead, they connect to the ends of a predominant bar of stars that run through the galaxy's nucleus. In fact, it's estimated that roughly two-thirds of all spiral galaxies sport this distinctive bar structure. Lenticular galaxies occupy an interesting middle ground between spiral and elliptical galaxies. They possess a central bulge and a disk, but lack prominent arms. They've also lost most of their gas and dust, giving them a smoother appearance compared to ellipticals. Think of them as a galactic bridge between the two main types. While some spiral and barred spiral galaxies appear relatively calm on the outside, astronomer Carl Safer discovered in 1943 that some harbor incredibly active centers. These Seyfert galaxies are characterized by small, incredibly bright nuclei that fluctuate in brightness, powered by supermassive black holes, surrounded by hot, spiraling accretion disks. But while some supermassive black holes are actively feeding on surrounding matter, emitting powerful radiation, others, like the one lurking at the heart of our own Milky Way galaxy, can be surprisingly quiet. These dormant giants rarely swallow up any significant amount of material. Unlike the elegant spirals and smooth ellipticals, irregular galaxies are just that, irregular. They lack any distinct shape or structure, appearing chaotic and asymmetrical. Though they are the smallest galaxy types, they are teeming with gas and dust, making them hotbeds for star formation. Many are thought to be the result of galactic collisions or mergers. Our own Milky Way galaxy has two irregular companions orbiting it. So imagine our galaxy as a part of a small bustling galactic metropolis, the local group. This collection of galaxies includes three major cities, the Milky Way, Andromeda, and Triangulum, along with a small number of satellite towns, around 50 dwarf galaxies. This local metropolis, in turn, is part of an even larger megacity of galaxies known as the Virgo Supercluster. Astronomers were in for a surprise in the late 1960s. What initially appeared to be a faint blue star defied all expectations. Its recessional velocity placed it far beyond our galaxy, and its radio emissions were far too intense for a normal star. This strange object turned out to be a new type of active galactic nuclei, powered by the intense activity of matter swirling around what eventually would become a supermassive black hole. And while most galaxies emit a relatively steady amount of energy, active galaxies stand out apart from their exceptionally luminous centers. These highly energetic cores are known as active galactic nuclei. Quasars are among the most distinct and powerful objects in the universe. These incredibly luminous celestial bodies, remnants from the earlier cosmos, emit a vast amount of energy, powered by matter compressed under an intense gravitational pull of supermassive black holes. 
From the intricate spiral arms of our Milky Way galaxy to the distant, powerful quasars of the early universe, the world of galaxies is one of immense scale and breathtaking diversity. These cosmic structures, numbering in the hundreds of billions, continue to inspire awe and drive scientific inquiry, revealing the vastness and complexity of the cosmos.